before we came to Teso, we first uh, visited the uh, Uganda. We went to Gweta Kole, Gweta Chigezi, Kunyoro. Uh, we went to uh, Musoga, and then in Kotipoto. But the performance in Uganda is relatively good. Uh, the performance in, 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 in Ankole is better. And Ch Ch Chigezi, Chigezi is, is also okay. But we have issues in, in Usoga, which we need to fix. <clears throat> so when we came to Teso, the, we went to Her Excellency's uh, district, the vice president. That is Katakui. Katakui, people had received the money for a mioga. But you see, people are used to receiving things from government and uh, thinking that uh, because uh, these things are from government, they are for thanking them, maybe for voting or. Uh, so people thought that this money for mioga was a thank you from His Excellency the President for having given him a vote. <coughs> but uh, no money uh, has been lost. We, we have actually emphasized the issue of, of recovery because people received the money and they, they, they gave it out to some few members within the South. Incidentally, the few members who, who got the money have not brought it back for other members to use it. But yeah, I suspect because I have, they have heard from me, and I have emphasized the issue of saving, of, of recovery, I have given them one month to have recovered the money. And I'm told that they have started, because the other day I received a call from the commercial officer <coughs> from uh, Okedia. People have started uh, paying back the money. Because you see, uh, once there is a gap, what information gap, people tend to do otherwise. That's why I needed to emphasize and encourage my fellow ministers to move out of the offices. Let us reach out to the people, listen to them, and encourage them, also advise them. People are not bad, they listen to their leaders. So, <clears throat> where we have gone, the performance has improved. So with the PDM, PDM is a very good program, and uh, people are appreciative. In this Teso Sabolito, <coughs> you saw people uh, sending me to thank the president. So they have received the money, and those that have not yet received the money, <coughs> uh, of course are hopeful that any time they are also going to receive it. The only challenge was with the banks. Some banks thought this, this is the opportunity for them to extort money from, from our people uh, to the extent that they don't even value them. When a PDM member goes to a bank, some banks look at this person as a, as a beggar. So I want to encourage all banks in Uganda. Much, even if you know the history of, uh, of this program, this, this person has the account in the bank. So banks must respect all the clients, all the people who have accounts with them, whether they are dirty, whether they are what, they are clients and their customers and they are their bosses. So this business of undermining our PDM beneficiaries, when they go to their to, to banks to receive money, is unacceptable. And I want to ask banks to, to desist from that. Number two, banks should not wait for people to converge at the banks in order for them to be paid. Once the list of beneficiaries is sent to the banks, they should automatically send the money to the accounts of those beneficiaries. So that now the, benef the beneficiary goes to the bank, goes straight to the counter to withdraw the money from the account. So it, should not be, it shouldn't be like that uh, they, they first 
converge at the bank and then they start sending money to their accounts. No. So banks should also stop this. Also, some banks have been uh, deducting <coughs> some monies from, uh, from beneficiaries. There is a bank which was making a uniform deduction of 11,000, which is unacceptable. And uh, that bank, I have written to the managing director of that bank, because we agreed that the only amount that should be withheld we, 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 it should be the five the five thousand shillings just to maintain the account uh, this is called uh, a minimum uh, minimum balance this the minimum balance is the amount of money which maintains the account so that it, it continues to be active and that should not exceed 5,000. So there are banks which are uh, deducting over 5,000 shillings. This is unacceptable, and the banks should stop this. There are banks which have been deducting 20,000 shillings. This is also unacceptable. In fact, I'm going to write a report and share with the members of the cabinet. If banks cannot change that type of behavior, then we shall look for another, uh, maybe, digital solution. We have OND with the, that's the digital solution with the uh, post bank. We can decide to use OND only. But we wanted to encourage people to be banned. That's why we want people to have accounts. Because if you, are, you want people to create wealth, you must encourage them to save. And people cannot save when they don't have accounts. With banks, so we want banks to to move with us. They are our partners. They should not antagonize the program. This is a government program. They should respect the guidelines and what we agreed upon with them. Uh, they are, <coughs> of course, I must appreciate Ngola. In the, in the Teso, Ngola is a, is the best performing district in both the Mioga and PDA. Uh, I, I, I must appreciate uh, Martin Akirokin, uh, our regional coordinator from Yasped. But the other this also did a wonderful job because I was told that with PDM, some district officials uh, had decided to to, to, to to walk away with all the money and the, our, our wonderful RDC locked them up and they, they recovered, they paid back the money. So I want to encourage all other DCs in Uganda to, 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 to copy, to borrow a leaf from another other DC. How, how, because the, the cardinal role of other DC is to monitor the, the, the from all government programs in the district. In a district where we have other DCs and DCs, the Mioga is not performing well, PDM is not performing well, other DCs should be in a position to explain why. They should not wait for us to, to come to those districts, to, 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 to the districts, they, because they are there and their role is to to, to, to monitor and supervise government programs. So I want to appreciate the other DC of Umora and the deputy and this one, the entire technical team for the wonderful job so far done. <coughs> because in Ngola, with the PDM, with the Mioga, they are in the, some of them are in the sixth cycle. People took the money, they brought it back, then other people took it. That was the, the second cycle, third cycle, fourth cycle, up to sixth cycle. So I must commend them for that. Also, with the PDM, PDM people appreciate it. PDM, they and the, they are really, There is a lady called Sarah uh, in, 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 in Gola. Uh, in, in which constituency is that? That one is Kapir. No, in, in Kapiri. Sada is in Kapili. 
Sala board money, <coughs> Sala belongs to uh, yeah, a Mioga Sako, PWD Mioga Sako, and uh, she borrowed the money. She was able to finance her project. She's making mandas and, uh, and chapati. But she <coughs> has been able to pay school fees for, for her daughter. And their daughter has, is now a doctor. So she sent me to the president to thank him. So she's very, very appreciative. <coughs> there is another lady in the Amuria. She got 3.5 million from uh, from uh, a Mo Omoga, from Omoga, Sako. And she was able to buy four cows. After some time, she sold them. And she was able to get 10 million shillings. She used 10 million shillings to, part, to put up a very nice house. So she's very exceeding, exceedingly happy. So we have testimonies. So people are very, very happy. We only have to fix a few uh, challenges. Of course, we also have to increase, to continue funding the Emioga, Emioga sale because the 30 million was not enough. Every financial year, we shall be adding more money because we want all the beneficiaries, all the members uh, to benefit. There is no way uh, we can encourage people to create wealth when they don't have businesses, when they don't have economic activities. We are providing sources of cheap capital. So Emioga provides a very good source for cheap capital where people can have access and finance a business. So we want to see all the Ugandans operating businesses. So if you are still in Uganda and your business is Luma Mongari, you better go and join Emioga or PDM so that you can get money and start business. You should wake up and walk to your business. Don't you walk to people's businesses and start sitting on the verandas just to, to transmit your gamble. So we want Ugandans to be very active economically and by doing so they will contribute towards the development of the economy and the 39% people that are stuck in poverty we actually upgrade and once they upgrade you see we want all Ugandans to, to enjoy life this country is a wonderful country